Hi everybody. So I am making a video, if you will, about my experience and what I'm about to go through. I'll be having a vitrectomy on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Um, so I am three days pre-op. Um, and just as a background, um, sorry guys, I look a hot mess, but try not to pay attention to that right now. Um, as everybody knows, um, that's a friend of mine on Facebook because I shared it last year and, um, I feel like it was like February or March. Um, I went to the eye doctor and they said, you know, we see some not so good things going on with your left eye and we are going to refer you to a retinal specialist. So... I was referred to Dr. Myers in Charlottesville, Virginia. He is great, by the way. Um, very down to earth, very um, positive and reassuring, which is definitely what you need when you're going through something as I'm about to go through. Um, as a background, I am a type one diabetic. I have been a type one diabetic, insulin dependent, since I was 16 months old, right? So my pancreas cannot make insulin um, like a normal person's body, right? Um, I know that I'm fat, haha, <laughs> joke, joke, um, but I'm not a type two diabetic, no offense. Um, just putting that out there. I'm not a type two. I get that those questions a lot like, well, maybe if you lose some weight, <laughs> your diabetes will go away. Um, I am not a type two, I'm a type one. Um, so this is with me for the rest of my life, unfortunately. So I have to learn how to live and cope with it and, and everything that comes with it, all the medical diagnoses that come with it. Um, I wanted to share my experience because, um, you know, I'm three days pre-op to a vitrectomy surgery for my left eye. Um, last year I was told that I have diabetic ret retinopathy as well as macular degeneration. <clears throat> so for about a year, I have been going through laser surgeries, um, as well as I received an injection, um, you know, in my left eye. And the last time that I went to um, see Dr. Myers, he informed me that my eye, um, in my left eye, it, it has started to detach the vessels. They started to detach from the eye wall. So um, it's causing me to go blind. So right now um, in my left eye, I do not have full vision. It's pretty bad. Um, so if you're looking at me, just to kind of get an idea of what I can see, um, this whole side of my eye kind of over, I can only see like speckles and, um, and like a black zone with maybe like a slight... Um, a slight hole where I can actually see out of that hole. And then I do have my vision here. Um, however, I have lost my peripheral vision in my left eye. So, which is scary, right? Especially when you're driving. Um, but I've really learned to live with that um, and, and kind of cope and manage how to drive not being able to have peripheral vision in my left eye only. So um, that's just a little bit of background um, of what's going on with me. And so, as I mentioned, I went to the doctor um, <clears throat> last week, and I was informed that, like I said, my eye had finally detached, unfortunately, from the eye wall, which will eventually cause me to go blind. I am a mother of three children. Two of them are small, ages seven and age two. So, I also have a 17-year-old um, so I really, you know, I need to have my eyesight to kind of, um, live my life as well as take care of my children and just kind of move forward. Right. <clears throat> so that way I'm back to normal again. So I did decide to go ahead and go through, um, with the vitrectomy, um, I have been trying to look up videos to kind of see what I'm getting myself into. And, you know, it's been rough, especially um, looking at the actual surgery of what's um, going to go into my eye um, and, and just wondering what else they're going to find, right? 
because the one thing that my retinal specialist did tell me is that the eye tells a lot about your diabetes and, and how you've been managing your diabetes. Um, additionally, what's going on like within your body that maybe you just don't see. Um, and so I really have learned a lot of information so far. Um, and I'm just hoping that they don't find anything else because that will be, <clears throat> that could be quite scary for me depending on what else is told that I have going on. So I'm being optimistic and hopeful that everything will go okay. The eye surgery will, will go fine and that they won't find anything else that is going to be life-changing for me that will require some other surgery or medical measures that I'm just not ready for, quite honestly. I'm 34 years old and I didn't expect to be going through this. Um, <clears throat> anyone who knows me knows that I put on like a ton of weight over this last year um, as things have kind of gone downhill for me. And especially over um, the last month or, or so because I couldn't work out anymore because every time that I worked out, like hardcore worked out, um, I busted a vessel in my eye. And so bleeding, um, I saw a lot of blood in my vision, little like speckles and, and black spots. And so um, you know, every time I worked out, um, again, hardcore, this was really impacting my vision. Um, <clears throat> so I was told to stop working out until we go through these surgeries. And then once I have recovery and then at some point after the plan is that I will start again. So, um, this road to recovery will be long. Um, my journey is going to be a, a long journey. Like I said, um, but I am optimistic and hopeful. And like I said, I am three days pre-op, um, on my surgery. So I will follow up with another video to kind of check in and let you guys know how everything, um, went and how I'm doing, um, in just a few days. So thank you for watching.